How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White 2. Last time we arrived in Nimbasa City after spending like half the episode in Join Avenue trying to build up our newly acquired Managing Avenue. And in this episode we are going to finish off exploring Nimbasa City, but before we do that, we need to actually deal with what this is. I heard that in Gear Station you can have Pokemon battles in the subway. So I came here to test my skills. And what do you know? The subway bosses were here. Isn't that amazing? I mean, they're the strongest trainers in Gear Station. And they said they'd battle if it's two on two. <laughs> this is an amazing opportunity. Would you please battle with me? Oh, I guess so. Thanks. Oh, the name's Rosa. Let's become the best partners ever and surpass the subway bosses. So, I'll have you challenge the subway bosses with me then. Having a battle in a place like this is a little irregular, but this must have happened for a reason. Battling in a different place will let me see this different scenery. And I might learn something too. Now, Emmett, if you have something to add, please. Follow the rules and drive safely. We're headed for victory. All aboard. We have been challenged by Subway Bosses, Ingo, and Emmett, which is very cool. I wish they would have done this in black and white, but that's why a lot of people, I guess, consider black 2 and white 2 to be the superior versions. Nonetheless, here we go. We are facing Ingo and Emmett. They have Girder, level 24 in easy mode, 26 in normal mode, and 28 in challenge mode. Fighting type, sheer force for the ability with the moves, wake up slap, Chip Away, Low Kick, and Rock Throw. And the other Pokemon is Boldor, level 24 in Easy Mode, 26 in Normal Mode, and 28 in Challenge Mode, Rock Type, with Sturdy for the ability, and it's getting broken right now thanks to that Flame Charge from Rose's Big Knight, with the moves Power Gem, Iron Defense, Smackdown, which it just used on me, that's gonna hurt, and Mud Slap. We fell down to the ground. No, our gravity, it's broken. Uh, let's use Psybeam. I guess it doesn't really matter. Because hopefully, Pig Knight will use Arm Thrust. And oh my god, wow. Sigilyph is way stronger than I thought it was. And we got the confusion, too. But it didn't matter. One Arm Thrust from Pig Knight, and that thing went down. We defeated Ingo and Emmett. And Sigilyph is now level 26. Awesome. This dialogue goes on forever, thank god it's over. Bravo! The combination of you and your Pokémon is truly fantastic! I'm Emmett. While I may have lost to you, I had a good time. Let's play again sometime. Yes, definitely. Next time please ride the subway and battle with us there. Well then, we're off. All aboard! They were so tough, even when they were holding back for us. That's the subway bosses for you. I want to get even stronger and battle the subway bosses when they're giving it their all. Thanks, James. This is a token of my appreciation. Take this. Ah, the versus recorder. What everybody has used to show replays of Wi-Fi battles since the dawn of time. Yes, record your friend or bat uh, your friend battles or battles on the battle subway. You can record both. I had a really great time battling with you. I hope we can battle together again sometime. See you. And she goes back to where she's usually placed, and that is inside the battle subway. In black and white, I do believe the same goes for uh, the player character you don't choose. So uh, you would see Hilbert 
uh, if you play as the female in black or white, or Hilda if you play as the male in black and white. I still can't get over that being their official names. Like, who, who thought that was a good idea for Hilbert and Hilda to be their names? No offense to people with those names in real life, but... Really? <laughs> really? Anyway, uh, here we are in the amusement park. As you can look, we have a Pikachu balloon, and now it's joined by a Pichu balloon. Oh, it's so cute. And over here, if I can touch the item, let me touch the butt. And by butt, I mean cross transceiver. Or dropped item, quote unquote. And it's ringing. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, man. Who would have expected that to happen? Um, hello? Yes, that's right. I'm the owner of that cross transceiver. I'm using an old model right now, so it's audio only. Sorry. Thank you for finding it. Truth is, I want to come pick it up right away, but right now I'm very busy with work, and I'm not in a place where I can stop and come get it. If you don't mind, could you hang on to it for a little bit? Really? You don't mind? Thank you so much. My name's Na- Uh, er, sorry, Yancey. And you are? James? Okay, when work calms down, I'll come pick it up. So please take care of it for me. Also, I'm sure you'll want to keep in touch until I can pick up my cross transceiver. So I'll call your cross transceiver quite often. Bye then. Thanks again. And that is a side quest in the game where you pick up a lost cross transceiver for the male player character. You will speak to Yancey, or Nancy, um, and in if you're playing as the female character, Curtis will call you. So you would be talking to Curtis if you play as the female. Um, there are certain spots around the region where Yancey will call, and actually I'll go to the first one right now. Uh, she mentioned that she would come pick up the cross transceiver immediately, but the fact is you need to have her call you, I believe, ten times before that can happen. And one of those instances is right here, in this very spot, behind the Battle Institute. Hi, is this James? Wow, so you're a boy? Uh, okay. It's a little annoying that we can't see each other, right? Just so you know, I'm a girl. Hehe. <laughs> Oops. My colleague is calling me. I, I have to get to back to work. Talk to you soon. Goodbye. So that was the first of several calls we will be seeing from Yancey. Uh, I don't need to heal up my Pokemon, I think. So let's just go back to the amusement park. And let's go find some rides to go on. I mean, who, who goes to an amusement park not to ride rides? Okay, so this... Is the Shining Roller Coaster the former Nimbasa City Pokemon Gym? Okay. All right, and if we go over here, hey, the Ferris wheel. Where's Zen? Usually, he's sitting around right here. I can't stop sneezing. Spring is here, huh? Blech. What in the? You there? You were just looking at me, right? When eyes meet, it's a fight. In other words, you just picked a fight with me, Nimbasa's feral wipered. I hope you have got insurance. Ready? Sure. <laughs> You've got guts, I'll give you that. You're gonna regret this as soon as you go limping back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, it's a battle. So, last Persephone. This right here. Every single season... There will be a trainer standing in front of this ferris wheel and you have to battle the trainer in order to access the ferris wheel and you if you want to go on the ferris wheel you got to battle the trainer but what's cool is that after you defeat the trainer hopefully then you get to ride the ferris wheel with said trainer which we should see momentarily i just need to you know i just need to beat the liper so uh, can we get that flame body right on the first Fury Swipes? Hell yeah! Oh, uh, <laughs> I just peeked my microphone with that. Uh, but let's use Return. Oh, Larvesta's starting to love me! It did half damage! Yay! Larvesta's loving me! Okay, let's use Leech Life. Oh man, I'm so happy! We got the flame body on the first Fury Swipes. Larvesta kind of loves me now because I've been with it for a couple of good amount of episodes now, right? 
been through so much together already, and it's only been... What? Uh, what episode number is this? 18, I think? Traded it over in episode 6? So yeah, we've been more than half of the current episode count! Yeah! Alright, we defeated the last Persephone, and now we will be able to ride the Ferris wheel, so... Yeah, 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 let's go on the Ferris wheel together. I hope you're not scared of heights, because... Yeah, that's, uh... That won't be good for me, you'll probably... Actually... Cute female girl jumping all over me? Oh, hmm, maybe it won't be so bad after all. No, I'm not scared, I think that's what her dialogue said. Uh-oh, something going on with the Ferris wheel? Ooh, we're gonna be stuck up here for a while? Hmm, I wanna get comfy. <laughs> Oh, um, okay, well, apparently she doesn't want anything to do with me. Okay, um, yeah, she apparently wants her mom and dad. All right. Um, yeah, let's, yeah, let's not talk about that. Okay. N next time I'm going down. Well, next time it's spring, I can face you if I want to. And we can do this all over again. You can be scared all over me. Hey, look, an Audino balloon is here now. And right next to it is a Paralyzed Heal. Right, I believe the Audino Balloon is new. This looks like it's new turf. Yeah, I think it ended right here originally, so I do believe the Audino Balloon is new. Anyway, hello, Clyde the Guide. Oh, are you a challenger, perhaps? I'm very sorry, the gym leader is out right now. I know where she went, though. She should be in the building where you can ride the roller coaster. It's the big end. it's by the entrance to this amusement park. Okay, so that's the current Nimbasa gym, which means that Elisa, the gym leader, spoiler alert, although we've been hearing about an Elisa for a long time, she is it. Wait, Clyde the guide? What? Man, between that one Harlequin in Castilia City that teleports all over the place, and now you, Clyde the guide, I, I must be going insane, cause like this is weird seeing all of the different. Stuff happening, you don't say any- well, technically you don't battle me. Can I speak to you? Yeah, remodel the gym, so amazing. Alright, let's get on the roller coaster before it goes away, thank you. Alright. Alright, I don't think you battle me either, because you would be in a stationary spot. Faster, faster, speed feels great. I mean, that's true! Fast roller coasters are pretty freaking awesome, I must say. Even though I haven't technically been on a roller coaster since, what? 2013 when I went to Disney World, I think? Yeah, I think so. Oh wow, that's been a long time. Oh, I hope I can change that rather soon. Oh, technically I am changing that right now. Well, technically I also did this in black and white, so I mean... Anyway, we do actually have some trainers that we can fight in here, so let's go do that. I believe this rich boy was in the original Nimbasa gym, because his name is Roland. I might have to go check the footage from that episode to see. Might be, because I know there was a rich boy and a rich girl in the gym as trainers you could battle. That would be interesting if it is the same trainers. Also, I just missed the opportunity to get it to come over here. Now I have to wait. Another two things, because spoiler alert, there's the rich girl inside this cart, so now I need to battle her and potentially wait two times for it to circle back. Man! Alright, rich lady also defeated, so now, yay, I don't have to wait, I can go on it immediately, thank god! And the loop-de-loop, -loop, yay! Oh, I need to hop off the ride. <laughs> I mean, I could go through that loop forever and ever if I really want to, but... I don't want... Can I please just speak to the lady? Oh my, did you come here looking for the gym leader? I'm sorry, you just missed her. She just left for the gym. Of course she did. Take this for making it all the way here. A paralyzed heal. So we got a paralyzed heal right by the Audino balloon. And now we get one here. Hmm, I wonder what type her gym is. Uh, go figure. I mean, if you watched the. If you played Black and White or you watched me play Black or White, then you know that Elisa's an electric type gym leader. Alright, there we go. Shining Roller Coaster conquered. I, w I would really. Okay, so we all know that. I mean, 
I haven't really checked on, uh, up on this since then, but uh, apparently Super Nintendo World has been delayed in Orlando, and I'm based out of Florida, so, like, this excites me. Um, well, not exactly excites me, because, I mean, Super Nintendo World, I would like to be there as, as soon as it opens, and if it's delayed, like some reports recently said they, it is, then that's not really all too good, but apparently the land, the kid zone in Universal Orlando is what, what Super Nintendo World was going to be, or at least part of it. Um, apparently that area is now going to be a Pokemon land. Can you imagine if they made a replica Shining Roller Coaster in Pokemon Land? Or in Super Nintendo World in general? Like, if they added another Pokemon area to the next theme park where Super Nintendo World is supposed to now be built. Can you imagine if they made a replica Shining Roller Coaster? I would enjoy it so much. Anyway, um, now we can actually go inside the Nimbasa Gym, but I'm gonna be saving that until next time. I also need to go back to the Pokemon Center, so thank you for watching, and until next time, where we do go ahead and challenge the Nimbasa City Pokemon Gym. Catch you later.